One of the claimed victories for movement atheism is the preponderance of atheism and irreligion in the United Kingdom, which we are told is a triumph of free thinking and a triumph of people getting information and casting off the shackles of religious indoctrination, but in fact, it's a triumph of propaganda and a triumph of people assuming the chains of indoctrination because the British press has been on a relentless campaign to propagandize the public into atheism, and we see this with mainstream publications like The Guardian and The Weekly Standard promoting the long discredited ideas of Jesus mythicists and promoting mediocre thinkers like Richard Dawkins and Stephen Fry to the status of public intellectuals, and we see it again this week with an article from The Independent. The headline reads, Pope Francis invites scientists to the Vatican after Catholic Church realizes the Big Bang is real. Okay, this is a lie. It's not a misrepresentation. It's a bald-faced lie, because the Vatican never denied that the Big Bang is real, and in fact, the man who first proposed the Big Bang was a Jesuit priest. But hey, I mean, maybe this is just a clickbait headline. I understand that normally the headline is written by the editor. Maybe the body text isn't quite so mendacious. The Vatican has invited the world's leading scientists and cosmologists to try and understand the Big Bang... I mean, they'll try and understand it as best they can, but, I mean, they're just god-bothers. What do you expect? Astrophysicists and other experts will attend the Vatican Observatory to discuss black holes, gravitational waves, and space-time singularities as it honors the late Jesuit cosmologist considered one of the fathers of the idea that the universe began with a gigantic explosion. Uh, he's not considered to be one of the fathers. He's known to be the father. The conference, which runs through the week, is part of an increasing admission by the church that scientific theories were real and not necessarily in contradiction with theological doctrine. Uh, it was never the position of the Catholic Church that scientific theories were in contradiction with theological doctrine. It was never a position of the Catholic Church that scientific theories aren't real. And in fact, it was never a position of the Catholic Church that scientific theories are real because neither mean a damn thing. Scientific theories can either be true or untrue, they're not real or unreal, and certainly not all at once. Pope Francis declared in 2014, for instance, that God is not a magician with a magic wand, and that evolution and Big Bang Theory are real. Again, he didn't declare that they're real, he declared that they're true, which was, again, always the position of the Catholic Church. The Vonference honors Monsignor George Lemaitre is being held. <laughs> okay, obviously the editor was too wrapped up in trying to propagandize for atheism to check for grammar and misspellings here. The Vonference honors Monsignor George Lemaitre is being held at the Vatican Observatory, founded by Pope Leo XIII in 1891, to help correct the notion that the Roman Catholic Church was hostile to science. Okay, this is all well and good, but they're kind of dancing around the fact that George Lemaitre was a priest. He was in the direct employ of the Catholic Church because this would complicate the narrative set out at the top of the article that the Big Bang Theory is somehow news to the Vatican. Okay, this is propaganda of the most vile, intelligence-insulting sort. It has monopolized the British press, and we can't allow the same thing to happen here in America. I don't care if you're a Catholic or not. We as Christians have a duty to stand up and oppose this.